I, yo, I got good news, man. Yeah. There's a federal law that says that the Bible is the word of God. And then it says the whole nation yeah. need to study and apply the teachings. That's good news to me yeah, yeah. because now I could go in here and tell him I don't have to pay for anything because I'm going to show you what the Bible teaches. Bible teaches me don't have to pay for anything in Christ. You know that? Yeah. You don't have to pay for anything because in Christ, you tap back into your birthrights as one of the owners of the world. You are owner of the world. I'm a owner of the world. They owners of the world. You are owners of the world. You have your share. I have my share. Your share is free. My share is free. Yeah. But they deceive you and make you think, hey, give up your, go take your birth certificate that talked about your birthrights and go get a state ID. So they want you to leave the church, go to the state, get ID from the state when God already gave you ID from birth. Yeah. And give up your birthright to go work for money. So you could go buy right. what's part of your legacy. Jesus came to save us from that. All we had to do is get the knowledge of that and then walk in the knowledge of that. Then he said, what? You shall be saved. Saved from what? The curses of Babylon. You're going to be saved from the plagues of Babylon. You're going to be saved from all these things from accepting the mark of the beast in your right hand and in your forehead. Yeah. Because for you to get the mark, you have to go take your birth certificate for your birthright from God and then you have to go get that. Oh, I want state ID because I want to work for money. Or oh, I want a social security card or I want to work for money. That's how you get the mark of the beast because you believe in that. Yeah. And then you end up with the mark of the beast in your pockets whenever Babylon and them stop you. Let me see your ID. <laughs> oh, if you can't show them no birth certificate, so you're showing them some other status. Yes. That you are an a, a adult. You're an adult because you're a friend of the world. Because the Bible tells you you're an adulteress and you're an adulterer because you're a friend of the world. You can't be a child and be an adult at the same time. You no, have to no, be no. adult mean adultery. Yeah. So when somebody calling you an adult, they're insulting you. <laughs> I'm not a wicked sinner. I only serve one God. I don't serve Babylon. So why are you calling me a I I, I you see? The adults is the people who worship Babylon. Yes, yes. Who worship the mark of the beast. They're adulterers. Yeah man. So did you know there's a federal law? You don't know? Yo, all y'all have the same reaction, man. Yeah, man, yeah, man. Do you go to school? No. You don't go to school? How old are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How old are you? Twenty-five. You twenty? You don't go to college? Yeah, I'm twenty-five. You know. So, did you know anything about the Constitution? Yeah. U.S. Constitution? Yeah, about that. You see, yo, that's crazy, bro. <laughs> yo, they have mad people come in our community that don't. They can't even understand what we talk. I don't know about it. That's not even fair, bro. Did you go to school here? Did you go to school here? So you understand what I'm saying? You feel the level You got this one? Huh? You got this one? Okay. Well, why y'all act like y'all don't want to be talking to us, man? Here you go, boss. I don't know, that's fine. Hmm? Okay, okay, I'll wait. I'll wait, I'll respect that. Like that. We can multitask though. We can do two, you know certain things more than one time, but you know, you ever know that there's a federal law that says there's a need to apply the teachings of the Bible? Yeah. Did you know there's a federal law that says that? That's it's called public law 97280. I'm making a whole bunch of videos about it. A lot of other people know about it too, but most people don't know about this. Just like on the money, it says in God we trust on the money and stuff because this government knows God is real but they don't promote religion because God have nothing to do with religion do you know money is a religion the belief in money is a religion do you know that yeah if I if I a tree grow apples out the ground if see if if you say I get peanuts you say this is 99 cents because you see this right yeah, yeah.
I was just saying like the nuts when when they get the nuts from the ground whoever the farmers are whatever when they when they pick it mm -hmm. they pick it for free okay. so when this says 99 cents on here it, it is like this is a religion because how do you know how do you how do you think the people who pluck this from the plant or wherever they from the ground for free they get their paycheck at the end of the week for doing that but they pick it from the ground for free and somebody pay them but they pick it from the ground you see so this is free because if i go out and pick the bush from off the side of the road right and i sell it to you i'm selling you free stuff so the question is who really has to buy free stuff? If it's, it's yours, just like if I, if I go outside with a bucket and the rain is falling and I catch a rain in the bucket and I have empty bottles, and I go get the rain in the bucket, I put it in all the bottles and then I go outside and I set up a table with the water in the bottles and I tell the people, you can't have water unless you give me money. Because this costs one dollar, that costs one dollar, that costs. Yeah. Am I lying to people? I'm not. So it does cost. So when I, so it costs one dollar for me to catch it in the in the bucket. You got to pay, but just making money out of it. And that's stealing. That's called scam, right? You know what a scam is. You know what rip off when you rip somebody off when you. That's also how you make money. When you, money is a belief in your mind. Does money grow on the tree? Where do you find money where Allah make money? Allah didn't make money. God, man make money, right? So did Allah did Allah tell man to make money? Where in the Quran? Show me where I could look in the Quran to find where Allah tell man to make money. Where I, where, I, where I look. You never say that, right? So this is devil. <laughs> this is Satan. Yeah, this is this is real scam thing going on. So that's why the that's why the government say in their law that we need to follow the teachings of the Bible in order to for people to survive. Because if we keep doing what we're doing, we're gonna have world war, and we're gonna kill everybody. Because money, when people love money, they will do crazy things, and they don't care about you because. If, if, if the only reason why you're here is to get money, that means you don't care about anybody that comes in the store. You only care about your money. And that's the devil. That means you're not a good man. Because a good man only loves people and will only work for people. A good man will not work for money. A good man work for other people. And you know other people will work for him. Allah make us and make this whole world without money. All we're supposed to do is respect each other, love each other, work for each other, and share. Life is easy, you know? So this is what Jesus, the prophet Isa, he teach this. This is what he teach, that you don't love God and you don't love money together. You can't do that. This is what Isa teaching. He want us to follow this. You know what I'm saying? You respect that? You, yeah, that's what it is, man. So if you do charity and you share and you love, you a good man. But if everything is like you can't share nothing with nobody, all this food here, the people hungry outside, begging, eating out garbage, and you don't say one day, hey, my brother, come. You want something to eat? Hey, my brother, come. Here's something to eat. This is a good man. Not a man to say, no, 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 I can't give you nothing. I can't give you no peanuts today, nothing, nothing today, because I need my money. To see the people have their belief. You have to pay rent, pay light bill, because this is people's beliefs. But we need to talk to these people who give us electricity, and we need to talk to them and let them know the law. Let them know that they're supposed to do good. They're supposed to share what Allah made for all of us. Allah didn't make it for one, one. He made Allah make all of this for all of us to share with each other. Salam alaikum.
T. So listen, man, got no resistance from the Ishmaelite brother. He know the truth. The brother shook his head in confirmation, knowing you got to stop robbing each other and start loving each other. Love amounts to sharing, not withholding for money. This is what we promote, and this is no ill will. So all you reviewers that belong to investigative agencies that are trying to find some sort of ill intent or criminal intent and anything done in the course of this ministry in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the King of Kings, Lord of Lords, properly referred to as Yahshua in the Hebrew, Hamashiach, Shali Ashala. See, we're going to stand strong and firm in the truth to the death. We're already dead to this world. We're already dead to this world. And so, we're going to reign. Reign with our Lord. <laughs>